genetically modified organisms or GMOs have, as their name suggests, had their genetic character altered by humans. The notion of modification was developed by the founding father of modern genetics, the 19th century Austrian friar and scientist Gregor Mendel. Mendel studied variation in plants and cultivated and tested some 29,000 pea plants, which led him to formulate the principles which became known as Mendel's laws of inheritance. In fact, man has always been cross-breeding both plants and animals in order to obtain hybrids with particular characteristics. And in the broader sense of the term, all domestic dogs descended from wolves are effectively GMOs. But in general, the term GMO applies specifically to organisms modified by modern biotechnology techniques. This usually involves implanting genes from one living organism into another animal or plant organism so that it will exhibit new properties, a process known as transgenesis. Researchers have, for example, implanted a gene from a glowworm which produces the luminosity of the worm into a cow embryo. The resultant calf might not exactly glow in the dark, but under the microscope the cells will emit a gentle glow under stress. Much used in research, genetically modified organisms have many practical applications, particularly in the field of agriculture and food production. Industrial companies have perfected varieties of plants like maize, soya and cotton, which are resistant to parasites, fungi and diseases, or to certain harmful herbicides used in farming. Other GMOs are designed to improve the nutritional value of crops or to have applications for health. For example, American researchers are working on a genetically modified banana which acts as a vaccine against gastroenteritis. But GMOs are also a cause for concern. While there's no concrete proof that GMOs are harmful, environmentalists say more research needs to be carried out into their possible health risks. Genes in certain plants have a tendency to disperse and contaminate other varieties, thus upsetting the balance of ecosystems. There are also concerns that genes could be introduced into seeds that would make them sterile so that farmers have to buy a new consignment of seeds for subsequent crops.